The Oscar process for short films is quite interesting actually because there's Oscar qualifying film festivals um, and then there's also a screening qualification. So there are two ways of being able to qualify for an Oscar. So we, we won Best Foreign Language Film at uh, the LA Shorts International Film Festival in mm -hmm. Los Angeles in August. And uh, that qualified us to basically be in consideration for an Oscar nomination. So we, we're currently in, the, in that consideration pool where the votes will start taking place from the 10th of December mm -hmm. till the 17th of December. Uh, we will find out whether or not we're on the shortlist mm -hmm. for, for the films. So that's quite exciting because there's only a select a few Oscar qualifying film festivals around the world, which you have to win one at. You know, you have to win one, and then you, you get put into that pool. So we we, we one of those films. Yeah. yeah. But the film explores identity. It, it explores kind of race, and it looks at a boy who basically was abandoned by his father at the age of seven. Um, he didn't know where his father went, and 15 years later, um, in the absence of his father, his father emerges in the same prison that he's working in, mm -hmm. and uh, he's now confronted with uh, his past and, of course, his hatred towards his father. Um, up until the, the eve of his execution when he finds out the truth about why his father left and he's struck with a, with a revelation that, that, that challenges him in terms of what moral decision he'll make. We, when we made the film we wanted to make a story that really spoke to all of us who, may, you know, who went through film school together who, who really wanted to tell our own stories by us you know, um, and, and really have them you know, be shared with the world and celebrate African cinema which, mm -hmm. is, which is for me personally a, an important thing. Mm -hmm. that, you know, stories of the war in, in, in Europe have been told you know, and so many times. And I think there's so many angles of the story because of its complexity mm -hmm. uh, and because of the climate that was political. And I think we've only explored it, for me, very superficially, I believe. We haven't really gone in, into the, the human narrative. And I felt that The Hangman, for me, was going to be that opportunity to tell a human story about what it was like for ordinary individuals to live in apartheid and not look at it from the, the political and the armed struggle, but rather from the human struggle. Mm -hmm. So I looked at it from a point of what happens when a boy who lives in the same world that is, is, is an, an apartheid background rather, uh, and how does he how does he live and adapt, and how does he, you know, operate as a human being in that world? Um, mm -hmm. That's very different to, to to the stories I think that we've been seeing, which is mm -hmm. always about the events of what happened, and not necessarily the, you know, what happened to the person living next door to the house where that event happened. It's, mm -hmm. it's an ongoing kind of challenge or battle that we're going to you know have to continue to fight the fight you know, mm -hmm. and continue to, to have more f black filmmakers telling our own stories and not having to wait for you know, someone to give us the funding for, but just make the stories and tell the stories ourselves. I think that was one, 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 one thing that we had um, in our minds when we made The Hangman, is that, you know what, if, if, if no one else will, will, will make us, will, will give us the money to make this, we'll make it ourselves. I've been trying to navigate my way, I guess, throughout this entire industry that I've been in. Um, and trying to find out, you know, how, how, how things work. I think that's been a, an exploration, of, and if you want to call it a struggle. Um, but I think it's also made me a better, more refined filmmaker because I know that I, I treat every opportunity like it's my last. I treat every film like if this is the last thing I get to say, then this is what I'll say. Mm -hmm. And it will be, I hope, I want it to be impactful enough to, to leave a legacy that people remember that this was my voice, you know, as a, as a black South African filmmaker. For me, The Hangman, you know, the, the Oscar is part of the journey. I think the, the Oscar allows the film, because we're making uh, the feature film length version of the film, and I think that will catapult that, that narrative as well into a space where I think it wouldn't have been if, that, if, 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 if the short film was not created, it was not made. And I think, so the Oscar is not the ceiling. I think the Oscar is just part of the journey because I think there's, there's legacy and there's a journey. And I think even after the feature film is made, there will be other things that will come to part. So I don't think you know, that the Oscar will be everything, but it's definitely a, 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 a will catapult um, our careers uh, in the direction that we would like to see them.